Oh, she shit. Got That's me. it. Because <laughs> I'm untouchable and I know you hate it. And you can't take it. You'll never break me. Because I'm unbreakable. Woo! What you want to do? Julie Delgado is a professional singer and has been for over 30 years. Her singing skill and her extraordinary vocal talent easily puts her in the gifted category. She's performed on domestic stages such as Carnegie Hall in New York and some of the most prestigious stages around the world, including the Sydney Opera House in Australia. Her wonderful gift of singing has afforded her opportunity to sing with some of the world's best known artists from the Fifth Dimension, Rod Stewart, Katie Lang, Janet Jackson, the Blues Brothers, and John Mayer, just to name a few. Her list of people she's performed with is very impressive and extensive, and not only has she performed with great singers, she's been in the company of so many more. She performs for dignitaries, VIPs, concert goers, and extravagant private functions, not to mention TV, radio, and movie commercials. Her humble spirit and kind demeanor makes her a friendly people person. She performs with her church choir VIP at the Macedonia Baptist Church in Los Angeles, California, which she's greatly loved. When she's not on stage, she can be found with family, friends, or at home relaxing with her dog Reggie or at the piano. So I've traveled all over the world as a singer, and I've been fortunate enough to have sang in the Sydney Opera House and Carnegie Hall in New York. And um, I've had some pretty exciting experiences with some pretty fabulous people. I feel honored and blessed to be a part of such an incredible industry and they've embraced me for the last 30 years. Um, I remember though when we were in Sydney, Australia and we were at the, at the Sydney Opera House with Katie Lang and we were doing an amazing concert and a woman came dancing down the aisle and we were very serious, <laughs> we were doing a very serious beautiful song and a lady came dancing down the aisle. <laughs> And she fell and just rolled down to the front of the stage. And we laughed so, we all just totally broke character and laughed so hard. It was so funny. I'll never forget that. It's in such a beautiful Sydney Opera House, you know. You think of poise and you don't think of somebody rolling down the aisle. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah this, I like that. I'm gonna love it. Um, Part of the music industry back in 2000 well excuse me 1990 because I love music and I've always been someone who has been gravitated I don't, I don't like when I made that first mistake and that just leads uh, me down just, the road just start over okay I don't need to hear all that <laughs> you're a trip <laughs> you're a trip first of all <laughs> you be letting me have it do you know that I'm just telling you. So, I became a part of the music industry. Um, I guess I had a, it's in my blood, my father sang with Sam Cooke and Lou Rawls. And um, it's always been a part of me. I studied classical piano for 13 years. And um, I absolutely love and adore music. It just goes through me, it does something to me. And after I was diagnosed with cancer, music became even more important to me because um, I couldn't sing for a while. My lungs were so filled with cancer that I was on oxygen 24 hours a day and I couldn't sing. I could barely speak. And um, I was broken hearted because I didn't think I would ever be able to sing again. And I've been fortunate enough and blessed. The Lord healed me to a point where I can sing again. Guess what? Next week, I'm going to be going to Washington, D.C. to be a part of the PreventCancer.org Foundation Gala. I'm going to speak, I'm going to sing um, as a cancer survivor and um, currently, you know, battling stage four breast cancer. Um, I'm really excited about it. I didn't think I'd be able to sing again because the cancer was so impacting in my lungs and in my brain I didn't think it would happen again. 
Now, if you would allow me to borrow the sentiments of Carol King as I continue on my personal cancer journey, I would like to say that through it all, I still feel like a natural woman. Looking out on the morning rain I used to feel so uninspired An impromptu jam session is not unusual for Julie. Sometimes hanging out at friends or over their houses, and if there's a piano in the room and a microphone, Julie is more than willing to oblige. I've been going- 